Hello, hi everybody. Myself Alavat Ramesh. So especially today we will talk about J.E. Mains Advanced Chemistry, uh, specialist chemistry syllabus and few important previous years, few important bits. This J.E. Mains Advanced uh, entrance exam to get this seat from like uh, IITs, NITs and other central institutions. So, especially today we will focus on what is the main topics in JE mains and advanced chemistry. So now you can see the first one slide JE mains chemistry syllabus. When you write the entrance exam JE mains chemistry, then you can see the syllabus. The first one is the some basic concept in chemistry, and second one states of matter, third one atomic structure, and fourth one chemical bonding and molecular structure. And fifth one chemical thermodynamics, sixth one solutions, seventh one equilibrium, and eighth one is the redox reaction and electrochemistry, ninth one chemical kinetics, tenth one surface chemistry. And you can see the next one topic is eleventh one classification of elements and periodicity in properties, twelfth one general principle and process of isolation of metals 13th one hydro hydrogens 14th one s block elements alkaline alkaline earth metals 15th one p block elements and 16th one d and f block elements and 17th one coordination compounds and 18th one environmental chemistry and 19th one purification and characterization of organic compounds and uh, 20 the bit Topic theme is some basic principle of organic chemistry. 21 is hydrocarbons. 22 organic compounds containing halogens. 23 organic compounds containing oxygen. This is the main chemistry syllabus for JE mains. Next we will move on to the JE advanced what is the chemistry topics. Now you can see here the JE advanced chemistry syllabus. The first one is some basic concept of chemistry, second one gases and liquid states, third one atomic structure, fourth one chemical bonding and molecular structure, fifth one energetic and sixth one equilibrium and seventh one electrochemistry, eighth one chemical kinetics, ninth one solid state, tenth one solutions, eleventh one nuclear chemistry and twelfth one S yes and P block elements. Now you can see the remaining topics, 13th one D and F block elements, 14th one metallurgy, 15th one principle of qualitative analysis, 16th one general organic chemistry, 17th one hydrocarbons, 18th one organic compounds containing halogens, 19th one alcohols, phenols and ethers and 21 is aldehydes and ketones. And 21 hydrocarb hydro carboxylic acids and its derivatives, 22 organic compounds containing nitrogens, and 23 practical organic chemistry. These are the main topics for JE mains and advanced specially chemistry syllabus. Now we can see the some very brief and theory kind of bits. We will see the Previous years, last five years, the repeated bits for the JE mains and advanced chemistry bits. You can see the first one. Objective take questions. The collisions are said to be elastic if there are given here four options. Momentum is conserved, kinetic energy is conserved, potential energy conserved. Mass is conjured. So collisions is said to be a elastic. Means collision means one molecule and another molecule to form like combination collisions. So that is called as collisions. So that time what happened? The kinetic energy is conjured. So one molecule and another one will collision. Then kinetic energy will be stopped. So kinetic energy will be conjured. So first one answer is the B. Kinetic energy is conjured. Then the origin of intermolecular attraction 
in helium gas is dipole induced dipole attraction dipole dipole attraction instance dipole induced dipole attraction induced dipole and induced dipole attraction so here is the answer is second one c induced instances dipole and induced dipole attraction is the right answers for second one c now we can move on to the third one bit glycerol contains so you can see that glycerols very simple molecules it contains either two secondary one primary alcoholic groups one secondary and two primary alcoholic group and three secondary alcoholic group and three primary alcoholic group so which is the right answer here the b1 is the right answer one secondary and two primary alcoholic group is the right answer one is the secondary and the second is the and two primary alcohol present in glycerol now you can see the fourth one nitrogen cannot be formed pentahalides because that bit is very important so the nitrogen atom is very small nitrogen atom has no vacant orbitals in valence cell electronegativity of nitrogen is very high nitrogen molecules contains a very strong triple bond so the fourth one right answer is nitrogen atom has no vacant orbitals in valence cell that is the right answer for the fourth one now you can see here the fifth one collagens already this well, we studied in now you can see eighth one hydroform reaction is given by so basically in organic chemistry hydroforms given by the acetaldehyde so here is given answer acetaldehyde methyl alcohol formaldehyde formic acid so hydroform reaction is given by acetaldehyde so the right answer is acetaldehyde silver mirror test is for what amines thioalcohol ethers and aldehyde so silver mirror test is used for aldehyde conformation test okay now you can see here now ninth one bit diels order reaction is influenced by electron releasing group electron withdrawing group photochemically effective or none so here diels order reaction influenced by the photochemically effective reactions next tenth one benzaldehyde do not undergoes which reactions so here is mention four type of reactions so which reactions will un not undergoes the benzaldehyde so benzonyl condensation will go benzaldehyde under reactions kanizaro reactions aldal condensation perkins reaction so the right answer is the c aldal condensation reaction so benzaldehyde do not undergo which reactions means aldal condensation reaction is the right answer now you can see 11th one bit phenol gives acetaldehyde on heating with chloroform and sodium hydroxide the reaction is called kanizaro reaction kulb reaction riemann tieman reaction friedel craft reaction so 11th one is the c is the right answer riemann tieman reaction so phenol re gives acetaldehyde when you heat it the chloroform and sodium hydroxide so that reaction is called riemann tieman reaction and 12th one which alcohol is produced during the manufacturing of soap you can see here manufacturing of soap you can see here ethanol glycerol butanol ethylene glycol so the 12th one right answer is the ethylene glycol is the right answer why because when you manufacturing the so the alcohol will produce the ethylene glycol next one 13th one bit is an isoelectric point amino acids have dash what is the concept of isoelectric point especially in amino acids either high solubility high electrophoretic mobility or low solubility none of this so at isoelectric point the amino acids have low solubility so low solubility is the right answer for 13th one bit now you can see the 14th one aspirin is derivative of which acid so 
Aspirin C is like one of the drug for using for the pain relief. Acetaldehyde simply will call. Salicylic acid also will call in aspirin. So aspirin uh, molecular weight is 180. You can see the aspirin is derivative of which acids? Benzoic acid, orthohydroxybenzoic acid, parahydroxybenzoic acid, and the metahydroxybenzoic acid. So aspirin is one of the derivative of orthohydroxybenzoic acid. Orthohydroxybenzoic acid is the right answer. Now you can see here the 15th one bit, the configuration of the product obtained in SN2 substitution reaction. So you can see the SN1, SN2 reactions, SN1 unimolecular and SN2 molecular nucleic, nucleation substitution reactions. So this configuration of product obtained in SN2 substitution reaction, retention, inverted product, racemic mixture, epimers. So especially in SN2 substitution reactions, it forms the inverted products is the right answer for 15th one B. Now you can see here 16th one, Degore method is used for the separation of what? Either halogen, lanthanides, actinides, noble gases. So Degore method is used for the separation of noble gases. So 16th one right answer is the noble gas is the right answer. Especially this Degore method used for the separation of noble gases. That bit is very important. The units of rate of reactions. Now we can see the, the units of rate of reactions. What are the units for the rate of reactions as the time of reaction? You can see the moles per liter, moles per second, moles per liter per second and moles liter. So the C is the right answer. Moles per liter per second. Moles per liter per second is the right answer for the rate of reaction. Now you can see the 18th one bit, the reagent used for the identification of nickel ion. When you see the nickel ion, for the identification they use resino resorcinol, dimethyl gloxamine, linder catalyst, none of these. So for the reagent used to identification of nickel ion is dimethyl gloxamine is the reagent is used to for the identification of nickel. That answer is the B is the right answer. Now you can see the 19th one bit picric acid. What is picric acid? Trinitrobenzene, trinitroaniline, 2 comma 4 comma 6 trinitrophenol and trichlorobenzene. Which is the right answer here? Picric acid is the 2 comma 4 comma 6 trinitrophenol that is called picric acid. So, the 19th one right answer is the C. The chemical name of vitamin B12 is riboflavin, cyanocobalamin and genoptomic uh, and none of these. So, vitamin B12 is one of the lessons you can see in vitamin topic like biomolecules. The C is the right answer. Vitamin B12 is the chemical name is cyanocobalamin is the right answer. Now, you can see here. Then uh, 21, the Lucas test is used for the determine, determine the type of amines, phenols, acids, all alcohol. So the Lucas test is used to determine the type of alcohols. So especially the Lucas test is used to determine the which kind of alcohols are present, either primary, secondary and tertiary. This kind of test is done by the Lucas test specially for the alcohol identification. Now you can see Kupfer. Kupfer is the bicyclic monoterpene that is the important and Diels order reaction is the one of the cycloaddition reaction. Which of the following is rearrangement reactions here given Woods, Canizaro and Pincol and Pincolin reaction. So right answer is the C. Now I can see here the free radical polymerization involves the free radicals are mostly involved in addition reactions. Okay, and um, these are the few bits. Thank you very much for your great patience. These are the few bits uh, we discussed already today. The next class we will detail 
about the complete bits like share comment